Eight. What the shit? Yes! Yeah! Why? Hola, it's your favorite Blanco Latino and San Diego. Blah, blah, blah. And San Diego Comic Con is over, I think. It was three days, wasn't it? Yeah, it was done. And we got quite a few things to talk about. I was thinking to talk about one particular thing until so much more announcements came in and I just decided why not have a collection of heaps of uh, these announcements and give you my thoughts. If you don't agree with me, that's fine, but I will spat out some crap. If you don't like it, then... What are you, what are you still doing? Get out of here! Go make yourself useful! You uh, I won't go through almost everything. I'll start off with the smaller stuff and then we get to the big ones. I'll probably put some timestamps about it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, Transformers 1. They had a panel. They showed the new trailer. I had the opportunity to go watch it early in Sydney, but unfortunately I was on the wait list. I guess I waited too long to uh, participate. So unfortu unfortunately, sorry, I missed out on watching the film er early. So now I got a freaking wait what two months until the movie comes out but we've seen the trailer it was good i liked it i uh, <laughs> obviously i freeze framed the part where orion was flipping off dark wing i believe that's his name but other than that i enjoy it it was pretty good really excited for the movie i know people don't like the art style of the film how it looks i don't mind it i think it it looks unique uh, here's a good look at Orion becoming Optimus Prime. This is basically the Optimus Prime look. Looks great. I think Chris Hemsworth would be good. He'll be. He'll make a good Orion. He has admitted that he wanted to go for a cocky sort of performance since it is Orion Pax. It's not Optimus, but he will become Optimus at the end of the film. And we we have glimpses of Megatron betraying Optimus. So yeah, uh, the first trailer definitely gave a bit more of a fun tone. This is sort of a mixture of the two. I'm not sure if the trailer showed too much, but again, the directors were inspired by the 1984 movie. If you guys know, it was advertised to be one thing, but they didn't show any of the crazy shit that did happen in that film, which is killing nearly everyone <laughs> in, that, in the first part of the movie. So I do think this film will have surprises, and from what I've heard from other Transformers fans, it seems like it's a great movie. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. It looks great. Just a quick one here, Jurassic World Rebirth. Apparently that's the title of the film. I'm not sure. This this poster is not real. This is a fan made. I just wanted to put something out there so I can talk about it. Jurassic World. Uh, Dominion, it, it was fine. It was all right. I haven't seen the extended cut of it. I'm pretty sure it's edited a lot better. But other than that, ugh, I, I'm not sure. I hope this is good. Uh, I watch it with my friend, that guy Jarvis. He he and I, you know, we enjoy watching the J Jurassic movies. I think I enjoy the films a lot more with him. Just because you're watching it with a friend, really. But other than that, I, I don't know. It, again, it's Hollywood just... Continuing the IP with sequels, remakes, reboots, what else? Prequels, pre-sequels, all the equals. <laughs> so, until we see more, yeah, until we see more, I, 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 there's not much to say. I mean, it's Gareth Edwards. If you've seen The Creator, if you've seen Rogue One and Godzilla, it's gonna, it's gonna look fantastic. It might be the best looking Jurassic World movie, maybe, when it comes to scale and I guess the weight of the dinosaurs. Again, if you've seen Godzilla, you get what I'm talking about. I don't have a picture. I just realized I have a picture, but there is a boys spinoff with Soulja Boy and uh, Stormfront, but obviously she goes by Liberty. It's going to take place 1950s. Uh, I, I'm in, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a chance. I haven't seen Gen V yet. 
Uh, the Boys Season 4 was a bit of a big letdown. I felt like a lot of nothing happened in the season until maybe the later half. Because, the, again, that whole part with Frenchie was just a waste of time to me, personally. I just didn't care. But, anyways, that 1950s show with Soldier Boy and Stormfront, I think that'll be fun. Soldier Boy was a cool character in Season 3. Uh, it's a shame that he didn't come back until the finale just for J Jensen Ech Echoes to just lay in the bed. He probably got paid heaps just to lay on the bed for one episode appearance. But anyways, yeah, I I'll look forward to it. Okay, we're getting to the DC stuff because like, we're saving the big ones for last. And I guess DC second last. If there are some things that I missed, I'm sorry, but these were the ones that interest me the most. So my adventures with Superman was actually, again, I haven't given a review. I'm planning to review season two, actually. But overall, I love the show. I, I wasn't expecting the show to be that good. I, 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 again, I mean, when it comes to the dialogue, it's very Gen Z type of dialogue in some ways with some characters, but I can tolerate it because it's an entertaining and really good Superman show. Very anime inspired. I feel like season two is really anime. But season three, here's a look at the cast. New outfits and everything. People are, yeah, people are liking it. I love Supergirl's Android 18 inspired design. Uh, it doesn't seem like she's going to have it, which who knows, maybe later down the line. But yeah, it seems like the cast are wearing new outfits. But I'm enjoying this. I can't wait. And also another surprise, Superboy will be in the show. I don't know if it'd be I don't know if it's too early to put in Superboy yet cuz Clark's been Superman for how long? Not that long to be honest, right? But I think they'll do do a good job. I'm assuming Jack Quaid is going to voice Superboy still, you know, still play him, but <laughs> But obviously, they're going with the classic Superboy look. I mean, the the one I prefer is the Young Justice one, the the one voiced by Nolan North. He was a pretty cool Superboy, but I get it. This one's pretty cool. Hopefully, they pull it off pretty good. Uh, they did Supergirl really well. I was surprised that that she was introduced pretty early. But other than that, looking forward to it. I feel like DC's been doing really well with animation. I feel like they never miss with animation. And they got heaps of shows, actually. You got the Batman Crusader. I think it's called Crusader. Uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> uh, I know there was some controversy that Penguin is now a woman. It's so weird how she looks. It honestly looks like a dude <laughs> dressing up as a woman. <laughs> but I I'm looking forward to it. It does look good. And obviously, they're really doing some changes in that version of Batman. I'm going to hold off till I watch it. Again, I felt the same way with my adventures with Superman. There was quite a few changes, and I gave it a chance, and I love the show. Uh, I'll go into it with my Season 2 review. I feel like it's the same page for me when it comes to Batman. I'm not fully skeptical about it. It does look good. Got Bruce Timm. I know that's a whole thing with J.J. Abrams, but I'll I'll give it a chance. Okay, more DC news. So we're going to the DCU, which they actually have a new logo for DC Studios, which I actually do like. It looks really, really nice. Very classic DC. So, Joe Kinnaman will, will reportedly sorry, return as Rick Flagg in Peacemaker Season 2. And I go, okay... I heard someone else was going to be Rick Flagg, and it was Frank Grullo who's going to be Rick Flagg in Creature Commandos, which we will get to it. But Joe Kinnaman is going to be... he, So he's junior, and Frank Grullo's Rick Flagg is, is senior. So it's an interesting way to obviously make sense for Joe Kinnaman to still be Rick Flagg, even though he's dead now. Because obviously James Gunn is cherry picking who to stay, who to keep, pretty much for his DCU. Because again, we all know what's going on with the whole Henry Cavill situation. And don't get me wrong, it sucks that Henry Cavill is gone. We'll see the execution when it comes to Superman. Uh, 
there's been nothing about the whole Superman thing from what I've heard. No trailer for Superman Legacy. So I'm a bit bummed by that. We'll find out. I guess we'll see a trailer maybe near the end of the of the year. But apparently Frank Grullo's Rick Flag will be in season two, apparently. I mean that that's what I've heard that he's been credited in. Not sure. But yeah, I'm I'm excited for Peacemaker season two. Season one was pretty good. Started off rough, but it ended strong. To me. Okay, let's go to the big one for DC, which is Creature Commandos. We got ourselves a trailer. Again, I feel like DC has been doing really well with animation. My adventures with Superman. Obviously, you got Harley Quinn and Kite Man recently airing. You got the Batman series coming out. That looks great. This also looks good. I do like the art style. Very... I don't know. I just... I love, I love the style of it. Obviously, the actors who play these characters in the movies, they're returning Viola Davis as Amanda Waller, which I do feel like DC is pushing. They're pushing Amanda Waller and the Suicide Squad so much, and I'm just tired of it. It's definitely one of the reasons why I have not seen Harley Quinn. I know. I, I love DC. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of Harley Quinn. And I think the Suicide Squad game really killed it for me. So even though I'd watch it for Poison Ivy, because I love that character, I I just... Mm, yeah, I'm just tired of Harley Quinn. But if it's worth the viewing, if it's worth the watch, let me know in the comments, because I'm willing to give it a chance. I'm willing to tolerate Harley Quinn. But yeah, I'm just over, personally. So Creature Commandos is basically suicide squad but with monsters basically non-humans and i okay okay the bride i actually like her <laughs> i went eh, i'm not sure about the bride but then she wears the red jacket as you as you know your boy wears his red jackets he loves it looks cool in it and she has a british voice and she she sounds great Sam! 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 <laughs> oh, i'm gonna get so much shit for that but yeah uh alan tudyk voices this guy that was it foes so for so for I, I can't say it i i'm sorry i'm gonna butcher that name but he looks cool ghost rider looking dude you got weasel from suicide squad sean gone coming back you got the i guess the lagoon girl She's pretty cool. She looks... It reminds me of Abe from Hellboy. It, it looks good. Oh, better move that. It does look cool. But the thing is, it's Suicide Squad, but with monsters. And they call it Task Force M. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Okay, I already see one. Give them. Okay. They're the same picture. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it is the first DCU thing we will get, and I'm still, I'm still on the fence about having everything interconnected in not only just films and TV, but animation, uh, I think comics as well, and also ga video games. I think it'll be just too much homework for certain people, especially normies. But also it kind of takes away the whole Elseworlds stories because DC's thing was always telling Elseworlds stories in, in different mediums. There's always a different version of Superman, Batman, or Wonder Woman, you know, just like all of that. I've, I always felt like DC handled the multiverse better because it, it just told more of that Earth's story rather than, oh, let's combine all these different multiverses together and it's the end of the multiverse, as uh, Deadpool Wolverine has done. Love the movie, but again, I'll create a spoiler review talking about it. I'm not the only one that's fed up with the Suicide Squad. Creature Commanders, same thing, honestly, just with actually non-human characters, which, honestly, I'd believe this group would have went up against the Justice League instead of what we got in the Suicide Squad video game. Anyways, Creature Commandos, I'll give it a chance. It looks good, the animation. I'm an animation guy. I, yeah, it's right up my alley.
sorry i was talking a bit fast because i was trying to get through all the stuff that interests me of my what my thoughts are i might have missed a few things sorry uh that could be my fault as well i can be a gumby sometimes but okay marvel was apparently they were talking about three movies only which is whatever it's basically the three movies that we know were coming which big shame what a what a crap way to not capitalize of uh deadpool and wolverine no news for x-men so they were talking about captain america who f- cares talk about thunderbolts who f- cares all right let's talk about fantastic four because they're actually this is a movie that piques my interest okay fantastic four it's called first steps that's not i mean the logo's here but it, it has first steps underneath it as, as well okay so so the film will be four to three aspect ratio so it's gonna have the old school look people i think that the director described it sort of like the jetsons type of feel because it's gonna take place in a different earth with the 60s aesthetic it makes sense for the fantastic four i don't know how i feel I guess it's a more isolated type of story, just like how Deadpool and Wolverine's, that movie's story is very isolated as well. So Fantastic Four will be similar thing. I think I don't mind that because it doesn't have the baggage of the mess of the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now. Because let's be honest, the world building in the MCU is not great right now again deadpool wolverine there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that really hurts my head and i'll get into it in the spoiler review later on so reed richards is a science teacher with the fit thing on a retro dating show ha huh, okay this is the first time reading this it's interesting fantastic four go to space to encounter and encounter galactus which the actor they pick i always want him to do voice work because he has such a unique voice him being Galactus is perfect. And I can't wait to hear that. And also another thing, what they showed, the Fantastic Car. <laughs> so obviously this is what that New Earth uh, 60s uh, city is going to look like. There's the logo, Fantastic Four, First Steps. Okay, that's the, how do they do that? When I first saw this, this actually looks cool. The Fantastic Car, I like the look of it, very sleek. So the movie has piqued my interest with its setting. Um, Pedro Pascal as Mr. Fantastic. I'm not for it. Uh, I feel like he's too old. They only just cast him so that normies can go watch it. So that's star power. How are they doing that? I'm just looking and go, where the Blooming Hills the wires? <laughs> so obviously how that looks, um, the information we got, it has piqued my interest in interest. I just hope the movie is good. But yeah, uh, hopefully Galactus, they do Galactus right. But it seems like he's just going to be a villain of the week, which is a huge problem with the MCU recently. There's no recurring villains all the time. I think the only ones are Loki and Thanos, and I guess Kang, but they screwed the pooch with Kang, to be honest, which we'll get into right away. Okay. Avengers. So it's confirmed that the Russo brothers are coming back to direct these two films uh probably the best thing they could have done because they know how to manage the screen time with all the heroes and give them epic moments we're going to get that in these two films and as you noticed we have a new title so it's kang dynasty again kang out of the picture the whole jonathan majors thing again i'm not going to get into it uh Let's just say, I think Kang was never going to work. But yeah, Kang was never going to work. Fighting the same guy over and over was getting boring already. And from what I've heard about the Young Avengers rumors, it seems like they're not going to have Iron Lad in there. I'm saying this because I read the comics and I love the comics of Young Avengers personally to me. So... I know that movie is going to be, I don't know if it's a movie or show, but it's going to be entirely different. It's not going to be the same. Again, it sucks because that's, again, Marvel screwed the pooch with Kang. But we're getting Doomsday, which obviously means Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom, May 2026. I think, 
I think they really are rushing this. They should they should give more time for the Russo brothers or whoever's writing these films now. I don't know. I lost track who's writing it now to write the story, make it tight and coherent and competent. Because again, the writing's been not great for some of these recent films. And we've got Secret Wars coming out 2027. So full year after Doomsday. But yeah, the logos look nice. I don't know who's going to be the Avengers. That's been a question in everyone's mind. And I kind of wish that they did announce who's the roster for this film. But I guess they're still figuring out who's going to be in the Avengers team, the new Avengers. Either way, it's not going to live up to the expectations of the OG team. It never will. Just don't put, don't put in She-Hulk, please. <laughs> Nobody likes that character. Well, this version of the character. He almost tasted that. Num, 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 eat it up. Hopefully, okay. Okay, so who's going to be Doctor Doom? That's the biggest question. Uh, there was a rumor going around, and I couldn't believe it. I just went, nah, no way. You just can't. I say unfortunately, but I, I don't know. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Robert Downey Jr. is going to be Victor Von Doom. I mean, that's how the Russo brothers refer to him as Victor Von Doom. The crowd went nuts. There's some people that like it. Some people are a bit mixed about it. Some people hate it. And then again, you get RDJ and it's going to get butts into seats for sure. I don't know. I'm not saying he, he, he can't pull it off because if you've seen him in Oppenheimer, he really demonstrates his acting chops when it comes to portraying, I guess, an antagonist because that's who he was in that film. And I can see that coming out from his performance to uh, as Victor Von Doom. Again, this is the result of multiverse bullshit. I guess he's not Tony Stark in this one. I, I don't know. Again, I'm very mixed because I can I can see him being the bad guy. I don't know. I just I just think so. He's superior Iron Man. That's what I'm uh, getting out of. I yeah, I'm on the fence about this. I can't say I hate it. It's just an odd choice. I just ask why? Why? <laughs> why? 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 Why do this? I don't know. People say uh, killing Murphy as Doctor Doom. He would have been a cool Doctor Doom, actually. But sometimes Marvel has a knack for getting really good actors and putting them in forgettable villain roles, like Mads Mikkelsen. I think he would have been a cool Doctor Doom, but again, wasted the actor. But I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because they could recast him to be someone else. Marvel has been doing that recently, casting that same actor to be a different character. Jamie Chung's done it. She's She was someone else in Captain Marvel. And now she's Cersei in Eternals. But again, who cares about the Eternals? That movie was trash. But other than that, that was it. I was expecting a bit more. If that was the kicker, I think they should have announced the Avengers team who's going to be in that roster at least. But I guess not. Ah, uh, you know, it's whatever. Nothing about X-Men. Again, huge miss. Should have capitalized off from Deadpool and Wolverine. I feel like they should have at least known that that movie was going to be a massive hit. And they could have at least think of something of what to announce for the X-Men. Who the f*** cares about Captain America and Thunderbolts? Which is honestly black widow too majority of the cast is black widow at least fantastic four it seems interesting enough again it, it seems like another self-contained story in their own earth like how deadpool wolverine was which i'm fine with that as long as you don't do tva stuff i'm good because the tva is like the worst the worst thing that could have ever happened to the mcu that shit just do does my head and it just hurts my head just trying to figure out all the rules that the TVA keeps making up as they go. Yes, Comic-Con. Looks great. Uh, you know, DC Animation. I'm excited a lot more with DC Animation than, I guess, MCU stuff. I, I'm definitely m more intrigued of how they're going to pull this off with the whole Doctor Doom stuff. I'm more intrigued. But only time will tell. But I do feel like uh, it's really cutting it close to release this soon in 2026 and 2027 okay what do you guys think about the recent announcements um i'm sorry if i couldn't get everything in i just picked the ones that interest me or really caught me by surprise but comment down below see what you 
What do you guys think about other stuff that happened in Comic-Con? But other than that, I wish you guys a good day or good night. Ciao.